so uh, in the previous session we actually uh, discussed about countable and non countable nouns and we actually have seen certain situations where how uncountable nouns could also be uh, used in a countable sense there are certain situations so just in continuation to it i thought maybe if we could uh, put some more examples it would it would be even more useful so here are certain points and certain distinctions uh, which we could see on in the on countable and non countable sense so we'll see those examples so basically this almost all of this uh, the words which are highlighted here they are all uh, usually uncountable words uh, basically they cannot have plurals in actually but there are certain situations how these could be used in plural form we'll see them so here if you see the first example uh, in the uncountable sense art is often called limitation of life so the same art it could be used in a countable sense so for example if you see i read a book about the folk arts of sweden so basically it means different types of art forms in that uh, in the sweden different types of folk art forms in the sweden basically that's what they mean which means they are distinguishing one art form with another art form so whenever there is some kind of distinguish scope for distinguishment so countable nouns could come uh, even uncountable noun could be pluralized so basically the main important point between the countable and non countable noun is that the distinguishment has to be there a chair could be distinguished from another chair that's why we could pluralize it but in case of anger or this thing the distinguishment is very uh, not so easy or not so uh, many times sometimes it is not even possible as well so those are the things so we'll see some more examples here if you see life is precious life is actually uncountable now the same life we could be used in pluralized form so for example a cat has nine lives so the same life is actually meant uh, different types of lives uh, cat has uh, so they are distinguishing those things it's like proverb so religion has been a powerful force in history so many religions are practiced in the united states so basically the distinguishment of different types of religions that's why it is used in pluralized form in the first first example religion religion as an element as an uh, as a thing cannot be distinguished actually that's why it is an uncountable one but when you talk about different types of religions it it could be so that is the thing she has beautiful skin skin is whole the whole skin of a human body is together considered as an element it, it together it is not distinguishable you cannot say uh, if only if you say leg like skin or uh, some other skin something like that maybe different types like uh, subcutaneous or cutaneous if you mean in such way that might be different but in general skin is together as called as an element so it is not countable so but the same thing could be used in different form like the hull of a kayak is made of animal skin so basically you mean different types of animal skins so which could be distinguished so dr molton is an expert in ancient greek sculpture so we have several sculptures in our home just the sculpture is uh, is actually expressed in different types of several they are talking about different several sculptures which are in there so that's the thing we use only recycled paper in office so paper is also an uncountable noun if you are talking about pages one page two page which could be which is actually the unit but paper in general is not a unit so it is uncountable but if you are talking about important papers like physics paper maths paper or the papers meaning could be expressed in different forms as well so that's what here they mean so these are some of the examples in them and the same thing we'll also look at the uh, look at them and how we could execute them while we are using articles here so as we know as we also discussed a bit of it in the previous session so basically a countable noun could come as a singular noun and it could also come as a plural noun in case if it is expressed in a singular noun we use a or an so depending upon if it is oval it has oval sound or uh, it has consonant sound and it could also come uh, it could also use the when we are talking about definite things if it is definite article but a countable noun cannot uh, come without an article so that is the case actually so it either comes with a or an or the but it cannot come uh, uh, without using anyone uh, without using any support of the article but while in case of uncountable nouns uh, uh, while in case you are talking about plurals in the same definite article uh, sometimes there would be no article also if we are just talking about in general sense so we'll see some of the examples so you are the guest of honor arrived late so you are basically talking about the guest 
there is only one guest for that particular inter- uh, in particular program there could be multiple guests also but you are talking specifically talking about the guest of honor so it is used in a definite sense a particular sense not in a generic sense so in general if you use guest then that would be a different case but here you don't mean general spend right? you are actually talking about a definite space so that is the reason why we call the you use the here because it is definite article and of honor arrival date if you see the same guest if he is using a different format you are welcome as a guest in our home so basically guest is a countable noun uh, here in this case it is a singular noun so a has been used because it does not have vowel sound so that's the case in case here if you see in the third example the guest at your party yesterday made a lot of noise as i said uh any countable noun in case if it is used in a singular as we say if you know we use a or an or the in case if it is used in multiple uh, in the pluralized form it can take the and it cannot take the also if it is used in a definite sense we use the here if you see the guest at your party i'm not talking about a general guest basically the guest at your party i'm talking about one particular element which in, the, in your party one particular guest uh, so the guest of the party so it is used in a definite sense that's why we use the in general if you are using like guests like guests are usually guests are called to a marriage function or usually guests are called to some something like that so it is a generic sense you are not talking about one particular function guests are you're talking in general so if you see the fourth example guests are welcome here anytime so you don't mean any particular guest the guest can be anyone you're just saying that they are welcome here anytime so there is no general sense so whenever we have plural noun plural count uh, countable noun which is pluralized uh in case if it is used in a generic sense uh, sense then you cannot have it can come without the as well so that is what uh, here it means uh and in continuation to it we'll see the same thing in the uncountable sense so in case of uncountable nouns they can never take that indefinite articles like a or an that is the first thing which we have to remember in case of countable it can take a or an it can take the as well in case if it is singular in case if it is plural it can take the only if it is used in uh, definite sense in case if it is in generic we can use the but here in uncountable you cannot use a or an because it is a uncountable noun cannot be pluralized in general so that's why a or an cannot take it and the can take it only when we are using in a specific definite sense and sometimes without using the article also uncountable noun can come so how we'll see the example so information information is actually an uncountable noun you cannot uh, measure information like one information to information information is the, it could be collection of facts it could be collection of many things together you call it as an information if you if you want to divide it you have to divide it with facts then facts could be countable but together as a whole element information is information cannot be uh, count uh, countable it cannot be counted only if uh, if there is any other sense then we can discuss but here in this case information is a precious commodity in our computerized computerized world so if you see there is no the here why because information is talking in in generic sense you are not talking specific about the information which indian government has received during the kargil war or information which uh, uh, isro or drdo got during the Uh, mangalyan launch or something you are not talking specific information you are talking in generic information is precious commodity in computerized world so that's why it did not take any article because it is not a definite sense it is a indefinite sense that's why. if you see the second example the information in your files is correct so the is actually talking about particular information in the files i am not talking in general sense there are certain files which are they are talking i'm specifically talking about the information in those files that is the reason we have used the because it is definite sense and if you notice here it is there is e is not r because information cannot be pluralized so facts can be if you are talking about facts then r could come but here in general you're using information which is uncountable so e is used not r so if you see sugar has become more expensive recently so again there is no article here because you are not talking about one particular sugar which has come from a mill or one particular sugar you bought from the shop you are using in general you are talking sugar nowadays has become expensive or sugar is used in tea in general or maybe sugar is like by children something you are talking in general so it does not need any article also it could come directly sugar has become more expensive But sugar is uncountable now if you are talking about crystal sugar sugar uh, crystals in the sugar then crystals could be distinguished one from, from the each other 
so it is unco- it is countable now but sugar in general is that uh, this substance is not uh, countable so that is the reason why you have used it please pass me the sugar so basically you are maybe this context could be like they are sitting on a table you are basically asking please pass me the sugar there is a sugar uh, because the person has seen the sugar is asking that particular sugar so here it is talking about a gen- definite thing which they are talking particular thing so it is not a generic sugar it is they are basically talking about something which uh, everyone knows or something the context has been set up and they are particularly focusing on that element please pass me the sugar that sugar so da is used here so we'll see certain other uncountable nouns which are categorized in different types of forms uh, this could help us in actually understanding uh, what kind of uh, uncountable nouns would be there and in which situations they could be pluralized here if you see abstract nouns like uh, uncountable nouns like advice advice if you are talking about something like uh, i got few advices or uh, basically advice is an uncountable noun usually it cannot be clogged to list maybe if it is used in an, a different context where you are talking about advices received from different types of people then it could be but if you are talking about a person who has given you three four or four ideas you would call that as an advice you cannot distinguish that together those ideas are called, considered as advice so advice in general is uncountable noun so help advice information knowledge trouble work enjoyment fun recreation relaxation these are all all uh, uncountable nouns in the abstract zone if you dig deeper into it if you want to express these things in units then they might become countable say for example work work is uncountable noun but in case if you are talking about different types of work one one could have maybe in a construction say there are so many uh, maybe mixing concrete or putting uh, this bricks or basically if you are referring to types of works different types of work which work could be distinguished from one another if it is identical then that's a different one general work is not distinguishable uh, so it is uncountable noun but if you are talking about a different types of work then it might become countable in that particular sense so these are abstract nouns so material nouns what are material nouns are basically the substance nouns so meat which means the flesh rice uh, bread basically it is substance if it is, if a name is given to bread like amul bread or britannia bread that is a different thing but in general bread is not the name it is a substance so that's why it is called as material nouns so cake coffee ice cream oil grass hair gold something and if you observe here generic in the generic sense usually generic means it would be same for everyone so like country india is the name proper noun but country is a generic noun which means common noun likewise fruit i am not talking about orange or apple i am just talking about fruit which is generic sense wildlife i am not talking about amazon or or uh, something like uh, maybe nalamala or something like i am talking in general wildlife equipment machinery furniture you are you are not specific here if you see luggage jewelry clothing money so these are generic nouns these are material nouns and you might uh, think like jewelry is also a material right but actually jewelry is not a material gold is the material jewelry is the category name luggage is not the material the fiber or maybe the cloth or something that is the substance so that's how material nouns could be distinguished from generic nouns and these could be material nouns usually we often see them sometimes uh, we could uh, see them uh, pluralized in certain other situation if you are talking about different distinguishing them so that's the main common difference between material nouns and generic nouns and some of the uncountable nouns which we might think that they are pluralized because of adding s but they are actually not pluralized they are like that only they are uncountable nouns even they even though they have s towards the end but still they are uh, uncountable so if you see here mathematics economics physics civics ethics funds measles you cannot math say mathematics like different types of mathematics i have completed or i have done different types of economics so basically there is economics there is one economics that's what you mean only if you mean microeconomics or managerial economics or macroeconomics that's a different case but in general economics is the same so even though it has this it still it is uh, uncountable uh, noun so we'll see some of them uh, with some usage of ad- uh, adjectives like some or any so as we know adjectives main job is to qualify the noun it gives adequate clarity about the noun or it highlights them it gives more meaning to the noun to make it more uh, uh, adequately appropriate adequately clear and uh, 
uh, to make it more understanding uh, that's that's the that's how adjectives job the adjectives job is designed so if you see here especially for some or any for this kind of adjectives if you see the first example there are some cookies in the jar so basically cookies are countable that's why you use some cookies and the same sum could be used for uncountable nouns as well there is some water on the floor so uh, i'll come to an important example in the next slide which would like there would be certain other uh, nouns like a few few a plenty quite a bit or maybe a little bit because even though they have things like little bit few something but they actually mean different sometimes they could mean like negligible sometimes they could mean like few sometimes they would uh, they give meaning like large amounts also i'll talk about in the, them in the further slides but here in this case some could be used for both countable nouns and uncountable nouns so if you see quiz is the noun countable noun water is uh, uncountable noun did you eat any food any is also an adjective it is basically talking about food uh, the noun it is qualifying the noun did you talk any food any food basically the uncountable noun it is do you serve any vegetarian dishes basically so basically the uh, you are talking about different types of dishes so it is a countable noun so any could any and some could be used for both countable and uncountable nouns and we'll also see much and many as we know much is used for uncountable nouns unlike the some or any much or many has a different context much is used to modify uncountable nouns many is used to modify countable nouns so how much money will we need so money is not uh, uh, what is it money cannot be pluralized money is a common noun uh, money is a common noun which uh, used in generic sense only if you are measuring it in some unit then it becomes uh, like a pluralized noun like if you are talking about rupees dollars yuan uh, maybe something like dirhams or something then you are expressing it in currency terms then it becomes countable noun but here in general money it's a category it is not cannot be counted it is uncountable no so you are using much for it they ate so much cake if you are talking about different types of cakes then that is different but cake together is an element the batter all all other different substances which are used together is a cake if you are expressing it in units like cake pieces then it becomes countable but here in this case it is uncountable so you are use much much effort will be used uh, will be required to solve this problem so basically efforts which is uncountable noun only if you are talking about different types of efforts that is different but in general efforts is the energy which you put uh, which uh, which is in general not countable so much effort is will be required to solve this problem uh, that's how you said it certain in certain cases efforts is can be pluralized in that case you would use many actually in different sense where effort uh, where you are talking about different types of uh, this thing which you put uh, we'll see many many modifies only countable nouns how many children do you have so basically talking about uh, how many children one two or how many of them their kids you that's what it means so many is actually talking about uh, that's what it means so they had so many books books is uh, you can measure books uh, that's what uh, uh, you can different distinguish one book with the another one so that's why you use many it is plural noun many americans many americans you are basically it's a pluralized noun if you see here children you cannot put children s towards the end of children but still children means the plural noun so basically many is different to that one only because you can distinguish one kid with another one basically the children maybe your daughter sons or someone so basically talking how many people are there that's what this exactly means when you say children so that is the case that that's why even though it does not take s but it it is expressed in a plural form here so we would see a lot of lots of so in previous this uh, session we have discussed like a lot of and lots of or actually informal substitutes of much or many so when we write in written format we use much or many in general when we talk in verbal format we'll use a lot or lot of it is not that we cannot use for written we cannot use it but most of the times uh, these are the preferred preferred uh, adjectives so a lot of lots of you see lots of effort will be required to solve this problem so basically it is uncountable on uh, lots of effort which you mean a lot of americans travel to europe each year so when you say a lot you cannot say s you cannot put s a lots is not the right one if you are saying lots of then in, 
you are basically talking about uncountable noun so actually a lot of and lots of both can also be used for countable and uncountable noun but most of the cases in most of the cases lots of is actually used for uncountable noun and a lot of used for countable nouns so that is the case here it is expressed clearly so lots of is actually used for uncountable noun a lot of is used for countable nouns so americans which is countable noun which is pluralized so that is the thing and we'll see some more uh, other uh, adjectives as well here so as i said there are certain uh, uh, things we adjectives which we use even though this they might seem like similar but they actually mean like they are like worlds apart worlds apart like we'll see how they are different even though uh, it might seem like similar so you see little and quite a little modify only uncountable nouns so basically little ice cream ice cream is uncountable noun you are talking about types of ice creams like mango chocolate or something like that but in general ice cream that substance cannot be uh, usually you cannot say uh, uh, ice creams in general because it is uncountable noun only if you are referring to the types of ice creams so which are not identical to each other unlike the chairs chairs they could be same but they are they can be distinguished but in case of ice cream uh, in general ice cream is uncountable noun only if you are referring to types of ice cream then it becomes uh, then it becomes a, a countable noun but in general ice cream together as a whole element is considered as uncountable noun so we add a little ice cream after dinner so basically it is a modified uncountable noun they offered little help for my problem so only a small amount they offered quite a little help for my problem so here if you see little help that's what it it says but here if you see quite a little so what they essentially mean is when you say they offered little help for my problem what you are saying is they offered only small help very little amount of help like uh, very limited amount but when you say they offered quite a little help for my problem you basically means they have helped you uh, in a big way so even though this might seem like similar but quite a little or quite a pretty or something you would say quite most time most of the times there are certain examples also in the next slide i'll show them so in general little help is actually talking about small amount quite a little is actually meant uh, is uh, with it is communicating large amount so basically the um, big help that's what it essentially means so in continuation to it uh, few and quite a few so if you see a few doctors from the hospital play on the soft softball team so a few a few and quite a few is actually modifies uh, they actually modify uh, only countable nouns in case of little quite a little because little you cannot uh, get any uh, proper meaning from little or quite a little basically that is for countable nouns uh, but in general if few or quite a few is actually used for countable nouns so that's how they take the positions just like a lot of or lots of you see here doctors are unco- sir countable nouns a few doctors from the hospital play on the softball team few restaurants in this town offer vegetarian dishes meaning only a small number of restaurants very limited numbers like very few uh, restaurants are actually offering vegetarian dishes like you mean very small number uh, when you say quite a few restaurants in this time in this town offer vegetarian dishes you mean a large number of restaurants so that's how a few or quite a few makes a difference so basically even though they use few it means large number or small number actually that's how they take the place here and okay, there are other slides as well uh, so i think uh, we can stop it here uh, for today's session